uh, Philippians chapter 4, um, verses 13 on your bread of life today. And I'm going to read the Amplified Version. The Bible says, I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. I am ready for anything and equal to anything. Through him who infuses inner strength into me, I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. I love that. And I'm going to use this for my title, Ready for Anything, Equal to Anything. Yes, you are ready for anything and you are equal to anything. You're ready for success and you're equal to it. You're ready for promotion and you're equal to it. You're ready for that marriage and you're equal to it. You're ready for that ministry and you're equal to it. You're ready for increase, ready for multiplication, and you're so equal to it. Somebody receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, without Christ, the Bible says, I can do nothing. John chapter 15, verses 5. Yet in our theme text, with Christ, I can do all things. And that's the contrast. Without Christ, you can do nothing. But with Christ, you can do all things. You can raise the dead. You can heal the sick. You can preach. You can teach. You can make millions. You can help the poor. Name it. You can do all things, not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of the living God. This thing, this Christ empowers you, enables you, increases you in strength, and has made you strong to will all things and to do all things. That's very important. He wills all things. And he does all things. In other words, the will to forgive that person who has hurt you so bad, your enemy, okay, and the power to do it, okay? So you have the will to forgive, then he goes ahead and he empowers you by his spirit to forgive. Now, this is the difference between Christianity and very many religions. Other religions, they have a will to live a righteous life, but they don't have the power, they don't have the Holy Spirit to do it, but he lives in us. And so for us, it is easier because it is by the Christ. <clears throat> himself so this has been made possible because the quality of strength given me is of christ himself for with him i can do all things it is of christ himself the chosen one of god god himself hallelujah so it it doesn't matter what you are doing listen to me it doesn't matter what you're doing for with this strength within you've been designed to go from strength to strength from glory to glory, from power to power, from grace to grace, from faith to faith. That's how, that's just the way of God. It's how he has fashioned you. Today must be better than yesterday and tomorrow has to be better than today. That's just the way of God. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 from verses 4, And we have such trust through Christ toward God, not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think of anything as being from ourselves, but our sufficiency is from God. Our ability to do these things is from God. Our power is of God. The excellence, that, the excellence of His power may be of God. So you can't brag that it is you. It is the Christ in you that does it. It's the life of the life of God, the very life of God that is working in you, the way of God. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So you cannot brag. Abraham, the Bible says in Romans chapter 4, verses 20, the message version, that he didn't tiptoe around God's promise, asking cautiously skeptical questions. Okay, he plugged into the promise and came up strong, ready for God. Abraham came strong. He was so, so, so ready for God. God had told him that he was going to be a father of many nations. And so he was ready for the, He was ready for it. And he was like, come on, let's go for it, baby. Let's go for it. You understand? So Abraham was ready for what God was about to do. And he was so equal to it because of the quality of strength given him to believe. This thing, this strength given to him was of God. And from God. The faith to believe is of God and it is from God. It's the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ. And how can you fail? If God be for you, how can you fail? So, friends, I am so fully persuaded that in the strength of Christ and His grace, you are so ready for anything and you're equal to anything. With God, all things are possible. Ask for the nations. You're so ready for nations. And you're so equal to it. I have asked for nations. You're so ready for success. And you're so equal to it. You're so ready for, uh, uh, for favor. And you're so equal to it. So say to yourself, success is ready for me. Say to yourself, success is ready for me. And I am so equal to it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, because success is ready for you. Favor is ready for you. 
Promotion is ready for you. Restoration is, is ready for you. Healing is ready for you. Well, name it because the Bible says that healing is the children's bread. I have given you everything. His divine power has given to us everything that pertains to this life and godliness. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So you, you are not preparing, for example, you're not preparing yourself for the day. No. In Christ, the day is well prepared for you to succeed. Listen to me. This day. This morning, as you're listening to your bread of life, this day is so ready to receive you because you're a child of God. He knew you before the foundations of the world. He knew exactly what you meant to do today. So the day is just ready to receive you and receive this by faith in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So hallelujah, hallelujah to the Christ in you, the hope of glory, whose hope is your strength within. And that's my message for us today. So with this thing within, you are ready for anything. Whatever you want to do, whatever you believe in God for, whatever you've believed God for, whatever you've written down to, uh, to accomplish, whatever target you want to do, let me tell you something. You're so ready for it and you're equal to it. You want to buy that house. You want to build that house. You want to go to a certain nation. You want to go work somewhere, whatever it is, you're so ready for it and you're so equal to it. You want to go and help the poor, you want to go and preach the gospel, you want to start up a ministry, whatever it is. I don't know whatever you believe in God for, but I want to encourage you through this spirit of life that you are so ready for it and you are so equal to it. Why? Because of the quality of the strength given you, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. So I am fully persuaded that it is not by might, not by power but by the Spirit of the living God, I am fully persuaded that because of the mystery that has been revealed to you, Christ in you, the hope of glory, and with God, all things are possible. Just step out by faith and say to yourself, I am ready and I am so equal. And as you say that and you walk by faith, I can guarantee you something that the best is yet to come. And God bless you.